I'd give them the, the thing, the, the the things that they need to both go after the Assad government, but but also to have the have the Iranians and the Russians pay a little price, right? When we were in Iraq, the Iranians were giving weapons to the Shia militia who were killing American soldiers, right? right? They were making the Iranians were making us pay a price. We need to make the the Iranians pay a price in Syria. We need to make the Russians pay a price. The other okay, thing I would need, do... We make them pay the price by killing... Killing Russians? Yes. And, and Iranians. killing Iranians? Yes. Covertly. So the, you don't tell the world about it, right? You don't stand you. up at the Pentagon and say, we did this, right? But you make sure they know it in Moscow but, and Tehran. The people who Here's the other thing I want to do. Here's the other thing I want to do. I want to go after... I want to go after those things that Assad sees as his personal power base, right? I want to scare Assad. So I want to, I want to um, go after his presidential guard. I want to bomb his offices in the middle of the night. Well, that happened about two years ago. Do you remember when his brother-in-law was? I want to destroy his presidential aircraft on the ground. I want to destroy his presidential helicopters. Um, I want to make him think we're coming after him, right? Um, I'm not advocating assassinating him. I'm not, av I am not advocating that. I'm advocating going after the, what he thinks is his power base, right? And what he needs to survive. I want him to think about, um, this is not going to end well for me, right? Mm. Um, I want to, I want to put pressure on him. I want to put pressure on the Iranians. I want to put pressure on the Russians, um, to come to that diplomatic